we're going to give you a quick tour of Champions Desktop as a Service running in Azure. Uh, and in here, we are in the administration portal. As you can see over here, um, we can go in here and add users, get some billing information, Um, look at the logs and change some settings. In here, you can see the different users that they have, their different permissions that are available to them. You can add users here. You can add bulk users. So if you want to take it from a spreadsheet or things like that, we actually have two different accounts here at Champion, uh, one that we use as a demo purpose, one that we're actually using in production. What I'm going to do is just walk into one of our environments. This one happens to have 11 users in it. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll be able to see in here all the different resources that are available to you in this one environment. You can see that we have 11 users set up in 11 different groups with four shared mailboxes, five servers. Uh, we have domains in here, um, and we don't have any VPN tunnels set up in this account. But if I go in here and just look at the servers that are inside this account, you can see that we need a little bit of infrastructure behind our environment to make everything work right. So we have a domain controller in here. We have a file server so that you can do uh, content redirection so that everything is saved into a file server that people can use as their home directory. We have an, ADFX, uh, an ADFS proxy so that you can actually communicate with an existing domain in anywhere in the world. We have an RDS gateway that really makes your connections back to the environment. And then we have our one RDS server where all of our sessions are running. So pretty simple uh, layout, but it works great for us. In here, you can also go in and see all the networking that's involved in this environment. So by just clicking on that, I could see the firewalls. If we had a VPN connection in here, that's where you would make it, right in here. Um, On-ramp uh, region so that you can actually set this up in different regional um, data centers inside of Azure. Uh, you can go in here and add users for this environment very simply by just clicking on the user icon, being able to go in here and just click on the bottom here and you can add users. So if you want them to have uh, either, we have really two different types of desktops here. We have a full VDI session, which means you're running an actual Windows 10 desktop. But we also have an RDS session, which means that you're running uh, a shared desktop on, so on top of a Windows server. So it depends on which one you want. We actually offer both. It works uh, pretty, pretty easily inside of there. Uh, you can go in and set up those shared mailboxes that I talked about. Uh, you can do set up backup in DR right here with just a simple click of a button. You go in here, click, click backup. You can do it in region um, very simply. So you can see, just follow the instructions here. We can turn it on and you're off and running on DR. Um, you can onboard new users here by just clicking. So you can bring in new domains. Uh, you can AD export. You can do bulk user uh, importing of all of them with just a simple click of a button. You can go in here and optimize and do auto scaling on your desktop so that you're paying for just what you're using. So if, if a, a user happens to need more resources for a short period of time, whether it's a, they're doing some data analytics or they're running a very large spreadsheet, uh, you can do auto scaling so that it shrinks and grows as necessity. But you can also look at performance monitors here and be able to look at all of the different um, machines that are out there and how they're running. So works pretty well. To do this, um, you can see that if I go in here and go into our environment, you can, you can look at all of the different machines that are running here very simply. Uh, go in here and click on users. You can see if they're logged in or not logged in. But more importantly is you can generate an RDP file that you can send to them to connect to the desktop 
that you've created. And to do that, you email it to them and you can see it creates a file like this. I happen to save mine to my desktop. If I click on it, because you sent it to them, the first time that you send it to them, they do need to put in their credentials, username and password, and boom, they're up and running. This happens to be a virtual desktop, as you can see, that's running in there. I happen to have, you know, different, like for instance, Teams is running in here. I have my full Office 365 suite. So if I wanted to get my email, um, it's already pre-configured for me. Perfect in here, I click on it, boom, there's my email up and running very simply. Um, obviously Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all pre-installed in here, all through Office 365. You notice that I didn't have to log in because it passed through my credentials that I was actually using during my login. Uh, if, if you wanna see the type of performance we get, boom. It's that fast, runs pretty quick. Uh, you can run full-blown presentations, full-blown anything you want right from here. Works pretty, pretty simply. When you're done, you can either go in here and disconnect the session, which means that you can reconnect. If I left this open, for instance, I'm just going to disconnect to show you what I mean. So I'm disconnected. It's not connected here. If I reconnect, let's say I drove home and reconnected to this same session from home, you'll see that, boom, my presentation is still up right where I left it, and everything is ex absolutely the same. If I go in here and say, okay, no, I'm, I'm done for the day, just shut down, it will actually shut down my virtual machine and it's off, not consuming any resources or anything else. For more information, please get a hold of us at any time and we'll be more than happy to help you.